Living the Good Life here with another garage sale and estate sale finds video. This is for Wednesday, March 15th through Friday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I went to about six or seven garage sales this week and about four estate sales. And pickings were slim, so it's not going to be a very long video. Um, the garage sales I went today um, were really slim pickings. Um, I got just a handful of things, some useful stuff, a cake pan with a cover that had been never been used for a dollar. And then I got this. It is a Pyrex bowl. I think it's the one and a half. I'm trying to see if I... Uh, I looked it up, and they go for anywhere from 10 to $15 on um, eBay so I don't see any nicks or anything on it it looks to be in really great shape um, so that was one dollar uh, and then at the estate sale that I went to I had to leave before seven o'clock in the morning it was that good it was an hour away I got there uh, just around eight o'clock had to wait two hours chit-chatting with the people in line and then when you get inside it is jam-packed with porcelain glass just uh, uh, probably a hundred paintings. It was just literally so crazy. Uh, I did find this. I wish it was closer to me or I would have went today on 50% off day, but I just can't say that I want to drive another hour to get over there on a crazy rush hour Friday. Here, I got this RS Germany uh, teapot, and you know it's a teapot because it has the long spout or a coffee. I don't know if you could really distinguish. This may be a coffee, but um, it is RS Germany and it's marked the same as the cups. Let me get this in here. Like this. This is um, the more streamlined uh, design uh, when Art Deco started taking effect after World War I. And they changed the name from RS Prussia to RS Germany. And you can tell from the lid that it's got that streamlined design. Um, and I have no idea what kind of flower this is. Um, and I really wasn't paying much attention at the time. But I just had to grab things pretty quickly. This was $25. Uh, and then I picked up these cups. And I thought, oh, just go ahead and get them. $8 for the pair. It's $4 for each little cup. There was no saucer with them, which was sad. But maybe I can pick up some sometime, which is a what every RS Pressure Collector says. And then we never find one. But it's still pretty. Um, these and um, so these actually at the time I didn't know that they matched because they had that with another uh, chocolate pot and cups they had a, a pot two cups and four saucers and then at another table they had four more cups and saucers that matched it instead of putting it all together and bundling it so um, that was pretty so um, what was funny is I came home and I, and I knew that I had this which is the creamer that I got for a dollar last year at a garage sale near my hometown so so funny and then I also have a consomme cup it's the one with the double handles with the saucer in this same pattern so now if I can find a sugar bowl it'll look more like a set I also got this I had actually paid for my purchases and then I realized that there were two bedrooms on the other side of the house that I hadn't seen. I had, hadn't been in. And this is cameo glass. You can see that it's, oh, it's dirty too. I washed the other things and didn't realize this one was dirty. But it has a hummingbird. And I looked, and these are signed right here. Kelsey. I looked this up. This same vase uh, sold for $35 on eBay. I paid $8. And these were made from like 1982 to um, right after 2000. So not very old, only about 30 years old. Um, but already having pretty good pricing uh, for something that's new. I just thought it was really pretty and I'd take a chance on it. I also found this lid. It's an RS Pressure lid. You just have to know by the shape of these type of things uh, that it is. And it looks like it goes to a chocolate pot. I'm gonna, I've got a few pots that do not have lids. I'm going to go around and see if I can make a little marriage. Um, and you know what? I realized after I got home and started adding everything up, I don't think they charged me for this. Um, so, um, or if they did, they charged me a dollar instead. Because it said there was a sign that said $5. Um, 
for anything unmarked. This is, you know, not necessarily what you'd pay $5 for. So I may have been charged a dollar, maybe not. So, okay. So there was that. And then the last thing I got is this RS Prussia um, cracker jar. And crackers are like cookie, you know, cracker jar, cookie jar, um, biscuit barrel, whatever you want to call them. Um, and you can see the finial is a lot more elaborate on RS Prussia. So this is from probably around 1900 to 1910. Uh, has this, the, these type of handles, a lot of molding around the edge, the pretty flowers. And I do have some things somewhat similar to this with some plates. So I'm really looking forward to putting these colors all together. That means I'm gonna have to move everything around in the display cabinets, but here's the mark, and it was $45. So that is it, that's short but sweet. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it. Uh, I'd love to see your comments. Press like if you enjoyed it, and um, I very much appreciate you watching the video. Thanks, bye-bye.